Hey, I'm Katie the Real Estate Gal in Denver Metro, Colorado with BSW Real Estate and today we're talking about the home buying process part four. Now in part three we talked about what you can submit in a contract in order to stand out and seem more attractive to the sellers. In part four in this video we're going to talk about all right you're under contract now what? So just because you're under contract all that means is that you have your foot in the door you're not married to the home which is a really good thing because you hire certain people such as an inspector there's going to be an appraisal if you have a loan different things like that and if you find out that the home is not up to your satisfaction i'm going to go over five things that a buyer can watch out for with deadlines and as long as you're within those deadlines you can back out of the contract and still get your earnest money back now, earnest money is roughly one to 3% of the purchase price of the home. And what that is, is it's a check that the buyer gives to the title company to hold saying, I am going to abide by all the stipulations in the contract. And if I break the contract, if I'm in breach of the contract, the seller essentially gets to keep that money. But there, we're gonna talk about these five things in order to get your earnest money back if the home is enough to your satisfaction. So. The first one, the big one, is the inspection. Now, when you hire an inspector, you're finding every little tiny thing that's wrong with the home. Please don't get overwhelmed with this. That's what we're, they're hired to do, and it's gonna be about a 50-page document. But if, they, if the inspector finds something that's pretty large, the buyers can say, you know, I don't want to replace the water heater and the furnace, that's gonna be several thousand dollars. If the buyers and the sellers can't come to agreement, the buyers can back out and say, we're not gonna purchase this home. It's gonna be a little bit more costly than we originally thought and back out of the contract. And as long as you do that by that termination de uh, date, you're good to go. You're gonna get your earnest money back. Now, number two, a lender is only gonna loan as much on a home as what the appraiser is valuing the home at. So if you're buying a $400,000 home and the appraisal comes back at $350,000, the loan officer is only gonna loan as much as that value. They're only gonna lend $350,000. So the buyers can say, you know, we actually want the purchase price to be lowered. And if the sellers say, no, you can buy it at $400,000. The difference, that $50,000 difference, is if the buyer doesn't have that in cash or they just don't want to fork over more than what the home is valued at, they can back out of the contract. Number three is a home sales contingency. Now, if the buyers are selling their current home and using those funds in order to purchase the new one, they're going to have a home sale contingency listed in the contract. If that sale doesn't go through, then they don't have the funds to purchase the home and they can back out of the contract. So number four is loan termination. So typically 30 days is a pretty typical close date from going under contract to signing for that home. Now, if the buyers make a really large purchase, such as they purchase a car or really expensive vacation, they might not qualify for what they were originally told they could qualify for from the lender. So loan termination, if you don't have the funds or the loan in order to pay for the home, you don't get the home. <laughs> so loan termination is another area the buyers can back out if they no longer are qualified or no longer able to um, afford the home, essentially. Number five is title. Now, if somebody, let's say a painter was hired by the sellers and they paint the entire exterior of the house, but then they don't pay the painter, the painter might come back and say, I'm going to put a lien on your property and I need to get paid. So whether it's the seller or it's the new people that are buying it, I need my money. And so if there is a lien on the property or maybe a cloud on the title, the home you know, the, the title isn't clear. It's not, it's not clean. The buyers can say, I might, you know, I want to still go through with the home. I really, really want this. Or they might say, I don't want to have to deal with that in the future. I'm going to be backing out because the title is not satisfactory. So those are five things you can back out of a contract for. You're not married to the home just because you're under contract. So I'm Katie, the real estate gal in Denver Metro, Colorado. If you have any questions or if you want me to talk further about any of these things, please let me know. Reach out to me, direct message. My contact information is in my profile. I'm more than happy to get together with you. We can set up a phone call, Zoom call. 
If you are wanting to look for a home, whether it be in the next month or in the next year, let's have a conversation. Same thing if you're selling your home. I'm more than happy to come out and help you determine what a good value for your home would be. So please reach out to me. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm Katie, the Real Estate Gal in Denver, Metro Colorado.